Lori Vallow, charged with murdering her two children, is facing another serious charge, conspiracy to kill her ex-husband, Charles Vallow. This case is now in the hands of prosecutors. Fox 10's Justin Lum spoke to Lori Vallow's nephew, who had a sense that her life was spiraling out of control. Justin joins us live. And John, what a critical week it has been for Lori Vallow. First off, indicted by a grand jury, like you said, accused of murdering her two children, JJ and Tylee. But back here in the Valley, after almost two years, Chandler detectives have submitted their own case against Vallow to the MCAO. But do prosecutors have enough evidence to get her charged? She needs help. Yeah. She needs some serious help. In January 2019, Charles Vallow, then husband of Lori Vallow, pleaded with Gilbert police to help get his wife mentally evaluated. I should have done more back then. Everyone in the family hated Charles. No one was talking to him, answering his calls. Lori's nephew, Zach Cox, stayed with her and his cousins, JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan, for a period of time. He says even back in 2017, Lori, a devout member of the Mormon church, was a big fan of doomsday fictional author Chad Daybell, who lived in Idaho. By February 2019, Charles filed for divorce, claiming his wife believed she was a god who would murder him with her powers, according to court documents. By summer, Zach says Charles asked for help to record Lori making these statements for her bishop to hear. Charles thought if he could get her excommunicated from the church, she wouldn't be able to go to the temple anymore, which she loved going to the temple and she'd snap out of it. I got in a fight with my brother-in-law and I shot him in self-defense. July 11th, 2019, Charles is shot and killed by Lori's brother, Alex Cox. Alex accused Charles of hitting him in the head with a baseball bat during a fight. Zach and other family members found out about the shooting on the news. He never bought the self-defense claim and wishes he spoke to Tylee about what really happened. I could just tell that <laughs> she wanted to say something about what happened on Thursday. And she started walking towards me and my grandma kind of like guided her shoulders and walked her out. And that was the last time that I saw Tylee. <laughs> not competent to proceed with her current cases, but prosecutors want to contest those findings. Live at MCAO, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.